let's say we have 100 feet that we want to convert to meters. Now 1 meter is made up of 3.28084 feet. So one way of doing that is I take the 100 and I divide it by 3.28084 and that will give me my answer. Now most of us either don't know this formula or even if I knew it will be very difficult to remember it. So Excel has created a clever function called convert. So I could say convert 100 feet into meters and there you go I get the same answer. Now let me do that slowly for you step by step. So I start with the function convert. The first parameter is a number that I want to change. So either I could type 100 here or I choose the cell E2 where the number 100 is. The second parameter is what I want to convert from. So in this case I want to change from feet. As you can see Excel has produced a drop down that shows the different options that are available. So this is not restricted to just distance. I can use it for weight. I can use it for temperature. I can use it for time. It even has a few complicated other options like pressure. So in our case I choose feet which is FT. The third parameter is what I want to convert it into. In my case I want to change it to meters. Again as you can see there is a drop down that has come up. However this list is much shorter than the previous one. It's because Excel has already identified from here that you're trying to convert something related to distance. So it will show me only the options that are distance related. So I choose meter here and there is my answer. Now let's say 100 here was pounds that I want to convert it into grams. So I would use the same function. I would say convert 100, pound, 100 from pounds which is LBM into grams and there you go there's your answer.